Welcome back. You're watching Europe Tonight. Now, for more than two decades, it's been one of the, the hottest tickets in Paris Fashion Week. But this year, Christine Lacroix, made famous by Jennifer Saunders in this country, will be conspicuous by its absence. It's obviously been a big story, and uh, it's been one that's been dominating the fashion industry for quite some time. The Couture House, notorious for its loss-making history, has been administration in administration sorry, since June. However, the ruling family of the Arab Emirate of Ajman in the UAE is now favourite to take over the French fashion house. That according to the administrators today. Our own fashion guru, Stefan Pedrazzi, sat down with... Uh, Susie Menkes, she is the head of, well, she is the head fashion reporter, should I say, at the International Herald Tribune, and asked her how Paris Fashion Weeks and the fashion shows as a whole will hold up during this economic downturn. No one in the fashion industry is saying right out that they're having a terrible time. Certainly when I was in New York, I could see how empty the stores were and how many designer clothes were hanging on the racks. I think different countries are different. You see, England is profiting from the fact that the pound is so low against the euro. So people are very savvy the way they shop now, you know. They'll co go to a country, like a man will, from Germany, will go on a business deal to England and buy something because it is cheaper there in pounds than it is in euros back home. What would you say would be the long-term impact of the crisis on the fashion industry? I'm amazed during this show season how many people are putting on big, extravagant fashion shows. I had expected they would be cut by half. But whereas people we know are in a bit of trouble have done presentations instead of a full-on runway show, they are in the minority. I think really that people are now learning, the brands are learning to use the social networks, use YouTube if you like, use everything from the show. In other words, they realize how important those show images can be for a tool for the future. Uh, if you look at what happened to Christian Lacroix, would you say it's a potential risk for other French designers? It's very interesting that um, Mr. Bernard Arnault has done such an amazing job building a luxury empire. But I think it's very hard to start from scratch. And we mustn't forget that although we in the fashion world thought of Christian Lacroix as a star of stars, he had to be brought to a public. Whereas when you revive a house like Givenchy or Ungaro now being revived by Lindsay Lohan going in and designing the clothes, these are dormant brands that already have a pretty wide following and they just need pepping up. With Christian Lacroix, that was not the case. It was a start-up, and that's really hard to do in fashion now. Now, how would you say uh, the Paris Fashion Week stands compared to London or Milan? What's the specificity of the Paris Fashion Week? The brilliance of Paris has always been to open its arms and open its doors and open its runways to all other countries. That was such a smart move because it means that the consecration of Paris is what all designers across the world seek, whether they're in America, in Asia, wherever they come from. And that's what's kept Paris very much at the centre of things. There aren't so many French designers now, you know, and if you look even at the French houses, there are quite big Italian names there at uh, Yves Saint Laurent has Stefano Pilati and Riccardo Tisci at Givenchy. So these are huge French brands with Italian designers. But Milan has not been nearly so smart about this. You know, it hasn't developed a new generation. And so you've got these fantastic names, the Armanis and Versaces. But, you know, a lot of these people are, are 60 or more. M Mr. Armani is 75. And I think that uh, Italy has a big problem about renewal. London is always the same. It's always about a seedbed of ideas. But those people tend to migrate to other cities once they get going. 